Hi, I'm Seth Orton. Thank you so much for all the questions that you sent in. Hopefully I'll be able to answer a few of them. What was your initial reaction the first time you saw your name on the England women's team sheet? At that moment was probably all your dreams come true. You always want to play for England when you're younger and that's when it becomes official and uh, hopefully long may that continue. And what advice would you give to girls who want to be footballers? First and foremost, make, make sure that you enjoy playing. Um, always listen to your coaches and your manager. Um, and no matter what, always work hard. In any way, describe the feeling of beating Germany 1-0 in last year's Women's World Cup to finish third. And what was the atmosphere in the dressing room like? Beating Germany 1-0 in the World Cup bronze medal match was probably one of the best feelings I've ever had in football in terms of the journey that we've been on as a squad, but also um, probably how tired we were. We'd just played seven games in the World Cup and it was really hot that day and to play extra time as well was uh, massive for us, but ultimately the, the girls in the change room, the whole squad were singing and dancing, listening to music and ultimately delight for everybody that was involved. Who or what inspired you to play football? Everything that I do is uh, for my family and uh, hopefully always make them proud every single day. What motivated you to keep going? Um, because when you were younger for females, it had such poor participation levels and support. What made you keep going and think, yeah, I've got this? I think the fact that I enjoyed the game so much, I knew that either way, whether it was professionally or as a hobby, I was always going to stay involved with the hope of it turning professional one day. And it's great to see that I've been on both sides where you've had to pay to play, you've had to train wherever you can. and. Now I'm fortunate enough to be able to train professionally and play for a great club like Manchester City but also for England as well. Hi Steph, Phoebe here. My question to you is, not including your name, whose name from the Women's Super League would you wear on your shirt? It would have to be Kelly Smith. I think um, having been a team, teammate of hers and watching her play when I was younger and growing up with her, I think she'd be definitely one player that I'd want to try and aspire to be. Uh, and to be like, so I definitely have to pick Kel, yeah. A lot of the time, people get tattoos to resemble a moment in their life. So if you were to get a tattoo to resemble a moment in your life, what would it be and why? Right, well, I haven't got any tattoos, but if I was to get one, I think I was this close to getting one after the Olympics, and uh, I think me and Kim Little have made a bet that we'd both get it done together, and um, it never ever happened because we just bottled it at the last minute, but. I think we always spoke about getting the Olympic rings and um, a lot of the Olympians have that. I think KB's got them on her wrist and it was an idea that I wanted to but I was too scared to get it. But if I was to choose one moment in my career, I think it would have to be that one. Sometimes the girls might not be in the right frame of mind or positive enough about the game. As a captain and a teammate, what should I say to get them focused? What do you say to the Lionesses before their game? If I was in your position, I'd just make sure that the girls are enjoying their football and just encourage them to stay positive and look ahead at what you could achieve possibly in the future.